So this player, probably one of the most prominent goons from the U.S. in the 1970s, uh, the man from Staten Island, the six foot two, 210 pound forward, who basically found his way to the NHL after breaking in with the WHA, and uh, as an undrafted player, he uh, basically has became a Hall of Famer. Actually, was inducted to the Staten Island Sports Hall of Fame, and I think is well deserved. He had a durable career. Now, today we're going to be talking about the great Nick Foytu. Now, Nicholas Vlamipios, Nick Foytu, born May 25, 5th, 52, of course, in Staten Island, uh, played forward, and he broke in with the New England Whalers in the 75 season. However, he came to prominence in the New York Junior Hockey League. I think it was the first main prospect to uh, remove himself uh, from the uh, associate. Excuse me. Now, his first season with New, High, New Hyde Park, he had 23 points in 32 games, including 8 points in the playoffs. 73 back with New Hyde Park. And 74 found himself with the Cape Cobb, uh, Cubs, uh, Cubs of the NAHL, where he scored 36 points in 72 contests. 371 minutes and penalties in a regular season. 80 in the playoffs. So you know what he was there for. Now, he finally made it to uh, Major Pro in 1975, where he played 61 games with the New England Whalers, uh, where he didn't put up uh, many points, but he put up a lot of penalty minutes. Four points in 61 games, 144 penalty minutes. But in the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen, he scored two goals, so he could score when needed. He also skated with the Cape Codders that year with three points in five games. 76, back with the New England, five points in 49 games. And uh, again, better playoff totals, 5 points in 16 games. Now, 77, he jumped to the New York Rangers, and his arrival drew a, a lot of, a lot of pre press by the media because his role as a, as a role as enforcer endeared him to the, uh, the Ranger fans. He was uh, loved by the media and the, uh, what they call the, uh, the, uh, uh, the back rows. Uh... Uh, with a fair fighting style, actually he started as a Golden Gloves boxer in his amateur sports career. And he was the first New York City-born New York Ranger. Now, Foytu's popularity as a Ranger was enhanced by his willingness to throw pucks up to the MSG blue seats after pregame warm months, which endeared himself uh, to uh, the fans. Because when he used to previously sit there as a young fan, he was all always... Uh, uh, doing uh, wanting for a puck now because these seats were the least expensive and farthest seats from the action far beyond where pucks would normally land during game time again he became a fan favorite for that effort now Foyt you played with the Rangers until 79 where he helped the the, the squad make in the Stanley Cup finals but he was eventually claimed <coughs> by the re renamed Hartford Whalers his original team in the 79 NHL expansion draft now, Foytu's second tour with the Whalers ended when he was traded back to the Rangers during the middle of the 81 season, where he remained for five years. He was traded to the Calgary Flames in 86. It helped him get their first Stanley Cup Finals appearance. Unfortunately, he took too many penalties in the finals against Montreal, and unfortunately, in Game 5, it cost him that uh, contest. Now, Foytu also played for the Philadelphia Flyers, and briefly from the Edmonton Oilers were retiring from uh, major pro and minor pro play. In 1980. Now, after retiring, uh, Foyju moved into coaching and also served as an assistant coach of the Hartford Wolfpack. Foyju, in his spare time, runs in a construction business and a charitable foundation, in addition to doing PR for the Rangers. Now, ironically, in the 2009 book, 100 Ranger Greats, which we've been quoting from uh, frequently in this podcast series, the authors rank Foyju at number 100 of the 101, 901 New York Rangers who had played to the team's first 82 seasons. Now, for a lot of people, uh, it wasn't his goals, but it was penalty totals that <coughs> stood out. But as he as he got older, he kind of quieted down a little bit. He was getting more of a, a goal score. Uh, in 1980, he scored uh, 10 goals for the Whalers. Uh, 82 scored 8 for the Rangers. 70, 83, 8 more. Uh, 84 scored 7. Calgary scored... Uh, uh, five goals in 42 games in 87, and uh, that one game with the Oilers in 1989, again, was his last major pro. So NHL totals, six, uh, uh, 
646 games, 137 points, 60 goals, 38 games in the playoffs. WHA totals, 110 games, 9, uh, nine points, and uh, including 5 goals, and a big total of 7 uh, points and 20 WHA uh, playoff games. So if you look at it, 800 major pro games, uh, you know, um, 1,700 minutes and penalties, uh, a fan favorite wherever he went in Calgary. He was very, very uh, popular for a short stint there. But to the Rangers, again, being the first New York Ranger-born player for the Rangers, which doesn't make any sense because New York was around all those years, and it took like kind of a, you know, a part-time goon to uh, break in. Uh, you know, it's kind of bizarre, but, you know, uh, the legacy is there. And for New York fans of a certain age, Foyt Hugh is well known for some of the big fights, some of the... Uh, some of the, the big players. And, you know, he wasn't uh, the cutest guy in the ice, but, boys, he was popular with the women. I know this for a fact because he used to wave to the women. Even at the Montreal Forum, we would skate on the ice. And, uh, you know, those women, I mean, the uh, the people would escort you to, to your seats. He was always, uh, he always favored uh, the beautiful women that used to escort, uh, you know, the, the paying customers of Montreal. So quite a life in hockey, the legend of Rick, Nick Foytu. Again, if you like what you're hearing here, give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And if you like the Ranger podcast, give, a, give us a, a comment or request. We'd love to do it. Have a good day. Bye.